Tuesday was another deadly day for American forces in Afghanistan. Roadside bombs killed eight U.S. troops in Kandahar province, making October the worst month for American casualties in the eight-year-old war. The losses come on the heels of two separate helicopter crashes Monday that left 14 Americans dead. To discuss the developments in Afghanistan, we're joined by Anna Mulrine, senior editor for U.S. News and World Report. Good morning. Good morning. First August, now October, and a lot of these attacks are IEDs and what um, the military has described as complex attacks. Is the technology there getting more sophisticated? Is this what we're going to have to expect from the war in Afghanistan? It is getting more sophisticated, and as, as uh, one of the, the generals on the ground described it to me, is as, as just the way you don't want the curve to look. It's it's going up. There are more IEDs uh, being planted. They're, they're more sophisticated. They're, they're more technically capable. And, and in Afghanistan, there are uh, large culverts that run underneath the, the roads, what few paved roads there are. Um, and they're able to place uh, large-scale explosives in these culverts, so 500-pound bombs um, that, they, that they roll into the culverts with wheelbarrows. And, and those can also just be, be devastating for, for uh, vehicles. They have the ability to lift even the MRAPs up in the air and flip them over. So, so pretty, pretty substantial, uh, you know, high, high explosives. The first U.S. official that we know about has resigned in protest of the war, saying, my resignation is based not upon how we are pursuing this war, but why and to what end. Does this officer speak for many of the other officers serving there? Well, I think the the big concern too is is in a counterinsurgency operation. So so if if uh, the U.S. is going to send uh, another you know, forty thousand troops over, uh, like the general on the ground, General uh, McChrystal is requesting, then then they need to have a strong partner government, and and that's their big concern because uh, you know time and again Senator Kerry was was speaking about this at the Council on Foreign Relations today as well. Uh, the, the Afghan government is corrupt. It's it's ineffective in in it doesn't have reach into you know large swaths of the country and without you know a good solid uh, government partner or at least you know, a, a less corrupt partner then then you know who is the US backing I think that's the question and and uh, you know, they they really there's there's a strong uh, and Ho mentioned this in his his resignation to letter as well there's a, there's a need to tamp down on on corruption to to begin Know, kind of clearing out the government of ineffective and, and corrupt officials and, and get some more effective governance on the ground. Well, in regard to the government, the country has a runoff election set for November. How is that going to impact the stability in, in the country and also the violence there? Yeah, I think U.S. military officials are, are concerned about the stability, and particularly this week. Uh, the, so Afghan President Karzai's biggest contender is uh, Dr. Abdullah Abdullah, and he is demanding that the uh, head of the uh, Independent Afghan Election Commission resign. And this is a body that he said did not provide enough oversight during the uh, during the August 20th elections. There was widespread uh, fraud, mo mostly in, in Karzai's favor. And he's asking that at least 500 polling stations be shut down. These are polling stations that were in remote parts of the country where the voter turnout was low, but but uh, surprisingly, uh, the ballot uh, count was high. So so kind of places that were prime areas for ballot stuffing and that uh, were remote. Uh, and so election monitoring officials couldn't reach these sites. Uh, they feel like if they consolidate sites a little bit, then they can focus on on the security that is a concern and and uh, and making sure it's it's a legitimate uh, and fair election. And hopefully the weather there will be mild at that point and allow people to get to the polls. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's what they're hoping with the with the early November date. Anna Mulrine from U.S. News and World Report. Anna, thanks so much for your insight. We appreciate yeah. you being here. That's always a pleasure. Thank you.